If we wish to create contours of this triangulation and export these contours to AutoCAD or some other software, we need to actually create them inside 12D and not use the toggle button. So to create true contours in a proper model inside 12D, we go up to Tins, go down the, to Contour, and go to Contour, Smooth, and Label. So this does the contouring and it smooths the contours, but also labels them all under the one panel. So left click on this. First thing we wanna do is tin the contour. So again, left click on the tin icon and select our survey tin. I'm gonna copy and paste that into the function name. And I'm gonna put the word tin in front and I'm gonna put contours. So it's going to have the function name called tin survey contours. And this will remember any data we fill out in these boxes for later. Model for contours. So you can see the major contours have their own tab here. So this contours tab is for the minor contours. So again, I'm going to call it tin survey. And I'm going to call the name minor contours. Minor contours will go into the model called tin survey minor contours. The minor contour increment I'm going to make 0.5 so every half a meter will have a minor contour and the color I'm going to make might make it blue. I'm not going to worry about a certain lifestyle I'm just going to keep it blank and I'm not worried about a weight. If you want to make the contours look a bit more I guess pretty we could smooth them out so if I tick this on, which I will do, it's gonna create a nice curve for the contours and not have jagged sharp edges. If you wanna create smooth contours, but have them going through the actual points that have been picked up in the field, you can also tick on preserve string points. I'm gonna leave this off in my case. So I've filled out the minor contours. I'm now ready to create the major contours. Make sure create major contours are ticked on. So it creates them. And again, I'm gonna copy the model name that I created over for the minor contours and copy that and paste that into the model for the major contours and then just change the minor to major. So they go in different models. For the increment, I'm gonna make this one meter. I actually might change my minor contour increment. I might make it 0.2. For the major contours, I'm gonna leave the color magenta and I'm not gonna worry about a line style and a weight. If you only want a contour between a certain height RL, between two certain height RLs or levels, we can go to range and you can type the contour minimum and maximum values in there. And it will only contour between those values if you wish to do that. So we're gonna go over to the, the next tab and this is the labels tab. And make sure label contours are ticked on and we're gonna label all the contours. If you only wanna just label the major contours, you just go, come here and tick on label major contours only. We're gonna leave this ticked off. And again, I'm gonna copy and paste that last command in. And instead of backspace over the word minor and call it tin survey contours and put label on the back. This just basically separates our minor, major and labels for these contours in three different models. So we can turn certain things on and off if we wish. Label method, if you select the down arrow, these are the ways we can create the label. So what is gonna happen, we're gonna have a, a contour going through our tin and it's gonna have the height of that contour. So it might be R for RL or height of 20 meters. And this is how we want that 20 displayed. So we can have it above the line, we can have it centered so the line goes through the middle of the text, or we can use a line removal. So the actual contours will actually stop and then have the label in the middle of the contour so no line is actually cutting through it. And that's what I like to use, one of these line removal ones. So I'm gonna use line removal and centered line read from below. So they're always facing basically as you're reading the page from bottom to top. Decimal places, so we can, you can have decimal places in this because we have got our minor increment set at 0 0.2, I'm gonna have the decimal place set to one. Textile data, so what type of textiles do we wanna use? And again, I'm gonna choose Arial Center 1 and select that. If you ever wanna edit the textile, you can just come down and go to edit and you can change the color and you can change the justification, the height, all sorts of things in there. The next thing we wanna do is go to the start distance. So from where the contour starts, how far in along the contour is the first label? And for this job, 250 meters is probably a bit too far. I'm gonna make it 20 meters. 
Sure, I might make it 10 meters. And the separation, make it 10 meters. So the separation is between the first label to the next label, and then the second label to the third, and the third to the fourth label, along that contour line, the distance between the two, or the distance between each successive text. And model for label lines, we're not using label lines. What label lines are is if we draft some straight lines across the tin and chose that model those straight lines are in, wherever the um, contours cross those lines in that model that we specify, it will create the labels on those lines. So it's very handy to get the labels to be basically plotted where you want them to be. Label start and end, I'm going to tick on, and that will create labels at the start and end of the contours. I find it a lot easier to actually read the contour value then, and it's a lot more professional, I find, to have that ticked on. All right, so once we're happy with this panel, if I go process and turn on those three models that we created, Tim survey labels, the major contours and the minor contours, and select. I'm going to turn off my tin, and there we go. So if I zoom in, you can see our text and we can see the labels going through here every 10 meters. So if I change up to 20 and 20 and process, you can see that there's a lot less labels there now. So it's just a matter of, of playing around with it. And also if you want to change the color of the text, you don't want it to be red. Again, we got the textile data, select in here, select edit. And you can see at the moment we're using Arial Cylinder 1 and it's set to red. So if I now change this to orange and set this, finish and process, and now you can see the contours are orange. So it's a very easy way to change it and pretty simple. And now what we can do is we can actually export these contours out to another software package.